All right, music fans, welcome. Harmless Dave here talking real music in real time for real people just like you, just like me. Um, if you didn't hear, the Rolling Stones had to cancel a show in Amsterdam, and I think they may have canceled another one after that. Yeah, they're still out there. Uh, much like Paul McCartney, uh, the senior years of the Rolling Stones, and they're not bad still. They're okay. They're viable. I would say Mick Jagger as a lead singer is more viable right now than Paul McCartney as a lead singer. I know that's controversial. Holy crap, Dave, what are you doing? You're going to get the world in trouble. I mean, you can't say stuff like that out loud. You know what else you can't talk about out loud? <laughs> Why the Stones canceled this concert. And nobody is asking any questions. Uh, the reason they canceled was because old Mick, he tested for the thing. That is correct. And we know for fairly certain that the Stones all made their uh, journey down to Walgreens or Rite Aid or CVS or whatever it was. I'm not sure what they have in the UK as far as those types of establishments go. But uh, we were told, you know, you know, you go do the thing because we're doing the thing. And because we're doing the thing, we want everybody who goes to our concerts to also do the thing in order for you to enjoy the thing, right? <laughs> Which is the music. Um, I know, talking the way I do, you know, it would be kind of cool uh, to be able to actually share uh, words that mean things. Uh, but I think the people who have watched this, this channel long enough, I know that uh, certain rock stars are actually using my terminology, which I find to be very interesting. Uh, people on Patreon will send me messages. Hey, man, are you OK? You look like you got the thing. And I'm like, yeah, I don't know. I, I don't feel so good. Um, and that's one of the things that Mick Jagger said. The difference between Mick Jagger and yours truly is, yeah, I didn't go to CVS. Nope, not going to do it ever, ever. OK. So he, he did the thing that he told everybody else to do and that the world is still telling you to do. In fact, they're telling little tiny babies that, that they might need to do the thing. Isn't it great how everybody's going to do the thing? Um, you know, I could go off in a really um, inappropriate tangent with the world all just kind of lined up to maybe just go right over the cliff. But anyway... Um, so he updated fans. So Mick Jagger says, hey, I'm feeling better now. What? Say what? What do you mean you're feeling better? That implies that you weren't feeling good. Why weren't you feeling good? You did the thing, right? So the goalposts that they were moving, right? I used to talk about this a lot, how they're moving the goalposts around. Um, they've thrown the goalposts away. <laughs> Not only did they move them outside the stadium, but now... It's like they don't exist. He thanked fans for well wishes. Well, why would he need to get well? And, you know, people were blasting Eric Clapton, by the way, because he ended up getting the thing, right? And the only reason I'm bringing Eric in is because everybody in the world thinks that Eric didn't do the thing, right? And he did the thing twice. But according to, you know, the new standards, the probably the new UK standards, uh, you're not fully thinged, right? Until you've done the thing, what, three, four times now? I don't even know. And, and I'm sure Mick Jagger is up to date. I mean, that's a big contract. And I guarantee you it's written right in there that, hey, if anyone comes down with this, guess what? You're going to have to cancel gigs. And then you're going to have to keep testing and keep testing. And then if it shows that you do have the thing, then unfortunately, again, you'll have to cancel the next gig. And my guess is there's like a tripwire that if you miss, um, I don't know how many gigs in a row, but I'm thinking in the case of the Stones, probably like three or four, um, that they might just cancel all the remaining gigs. Now, I don't know how many dates the Stones have. They're not on this grueling tour. Uh, Mick and Keith are 78 years old. Ronnie Wood is 75. Um, okay, you know, <laughs> these older guys out there, I mean, aren't they the ones that we're supposed to really worry about in this situation when you get to a certain age? I mean, after all of the 
sort of nonstop hysteria about this issue, which, by the way, is dying down where people aren't questioning it anymore. They're not saying, well, you know, isn't that kind of weird how he was telling everybody to do X and then Y happened? Nobody cares, right? Nobody in this particular uh, genre or uh, if you want to call it news or observation, journalism. I mean, this is pretty weak journalism doing, right? It's very weak, but I'm just observing something, right? So he says, yeah, I'm doing better. Thank you. And immediately my mind goes, hey, why is he, why was he doing poorly? I mean, everybody said to do X, so Y will be better, right? And, you know, if you didn't do uh, enough of these things, then you could go and do it again and do it again. And I don't know how many, again, that they're up to over there in the UK. I think in Canada, they're up to like five. I mean, folks, if you don't see the obvious problem here, which is it doesn't seem to matter. That's the obvious problem. It doesn't seem to matter. And the only thing that we've got now is this hysteria of, okay, so Mick wasn't feeling good for a couple of days, he says he's feeling better. Okay, so why not resume? Why not just resume? And why not spread that message to anyone who initially might not have been feeling all that well, but then started to feel better? Why do we have to kind of lock everything down again and cancel, like Ringo Starr canceled an entire month of concerts? Why? Why? Well, two guys in the band, Okay, well, are those two guys not able to do what Mick Jagger is apparently doing here? I mean, it's all arbitrary. It's all random. It all makes you fearful of just common things that you're going to encounter in your life. And unfortunately, you're not always going to be feeling really great every day. Things are going to happen to you and you're going to say, okay, maybe I need to take it easy today and tomorrow. Maybe I'll take it easy for a week. But then I'm going to be back better than ever, right? Maybe not better than ever, but at least well enough to do what I need to do. In the case of the Rolling Stones, probably the greatest rock band in the history of the world. Did I say that out loud? People say, what about the Beatles? What about Led Zeppelin? Uh, yeah, I don't know. They're, those are great bands. But the Stones for longevity, that's where I'm going with this. The Rolling Stones being a band that still is viable, even at their advanced age, right? They go out there, they sound like the Stones. They're not doing anything that would make you feel like they can't do this anymore. Not quite yet. I'm sure that day is coming, but it's respectable enough to say, okay, I'm going to pay $1,000 for this ticket. Not me personally, but I could see somebody doing that and justifying it with, well, it's Mick and Keith and Ronnie Wood. We do miss Charlie Watts a lot. Okay. But um, still to see Keith and Mick out there, that's a pretty big deal. So in any event, I just thought it interesting that we've kind of shifted the narrative a little bit again on this, where we can maybe say out loud things that would implicate the effectiveness of a certain thing that people have been toting and advocating and screaming about for two and a half years now. I'm just curious as to why nobody picks up on this and says, huh, why should they cancel gigs? I mean, this should be, um, you know, pretty foolproof, right? Should be like, hey, everybody is going to be fine because this is what they did. And they'll even say later, thank goodness I did this. I didn't read that in this article. I didn't read Mick Jagger saying, Thank goodness I went to CBS four times. I am so happy that I did that because it's made my life so much better. That's not really what happened here. So I think it's a little bit foolish to go out there and thank something for not doing anything for you because apparently that is the end result of um, doing the thing. All right, people, I'm done with this thing. Thanks for watching this thing. And don't forget to subscribe to this thing. And uh, Patreon, that's another thing that you can do for, wow, this is bad, for a dollar a month, $2 a month, $5 a month, a um, hundred things a month, whatever you could afford. And again, before this gets a little too corny, thanks for watching and uh, I will see you soon.